Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Monday, and it's August 16th. This will be our chart lesson for today, and really wild trading day today. We had a nice reversal here. There's a little bit of a spike in channel down. Really, it's just a channel because you could probably even come back into the previous day, but I usually like to always start my channels during the current day, and you have this two-tiered channel here, and you get a break here. And uh, I moved to a new low, and then we tested that low again and reversed, and it was all uphill after that. And, I mean, this is a really strong trend on the way up here. And it was still, we were still inside the trend line, hadn't had a close outside or anything, even after 3 o'clock. And we finally closed out of there and closed down from off the highs just slightly there uh, maybe three or four points off the highs of the day so uh, really nice reversal day there's not a lot of trades in here but really once you recognize this is a strong trend you got to be careful going long off the midline unless you notice we're starting to bounce here a few times and you get a good setup then you might go long off of it otherwise you got to be careful because you can get burned on that when you see the trend line and the EMA running congruently like that, and you get a setup there, you just about have to take it. Uh, if there's a good second entry or uh, a failed second entry short or triple test or something, and it's at this key entry point here, you just about have to take the trade. I mean, that is a strong trend, and, and just about every one of them would have had a runner. Almost every one of them, if not every one of them, would have had a runner. And so on these kind of days, you got to take advantage of them. And, you know, I hear of people, a lot of people got trapped and fooled right in here because this is like a transition period point. We've already had a break and a new low, so you got to be careful going short in here. I see this one setup looking like we might get another leg down similar to this one. And when we don't, you just start going sideways and you don't know what's going to happen until you get a reversal pattern. And this is what a good reversal pattern. Look how that shoots up right through the EMA with no resistance, pulls back and tests it once, and pulls back and tests it twice. You get a good signal bar there. Go long right there. That's what a reversal looks like. A fail, it's a nice second entry short that fails. And that's what a reversal looks like. And somebody asked me about this trade, but they didn't have their channel done properly they actually had an overshoot of their channel and even a break in a new low i believe but they still chose to go short right there and you got to be real careful that that move right there is your first clue when you see that thing notice how there's no let me zoom in here notice how there's no resistance at all off that ema how it shoots straight through there right above it pulls back and it holds and it breaks higher and then turns back down and breaks lower and holds again when it breaks higher right there, that's a failure. And you can see how quickly that shot up. That trapped a lot of traders. And then they trapped them again there, really. And it took off again. And then the market, you know, the rally was on then. So um, everything had changed at that point. So, But clearly we came up short here. Got a break. Notice the distance that we came up short. That's about the distance we overshot it. Came down, made our new low, tested that low twice more, and it held, and then off to the races to the upside. This is where the smart traders started coming in right here. When they, when they saw that triple test, and when it shoots up through there, and then they wait on that second entry. This is not only a failed second entry short, it's a second entry long, too. It doesn't set up real well on second entry long because, well... Well, it does have matching low there. I didn't think it did, but it does. But it doesn't matter because as soon as it broke higher right there, that's where you want to go long. So it's a failed second entry short, a second entry long. So even if you didn't see the failure, you, you, there's still a second entry long there. So anyway, let's back out and go through the trades here. Uh, 7 o'clock came right here when this set up. And... This is actually a, down here, I believe. Uh, I played it down here because that's the lowest point. Uh, we never did get back down there again. And see, and that's telling you something, too, because we couldn't even, 
we pushed through that midline a few times, but just never could. Uh, and you can see we're just kind of losing momentum. And then, boom, suddenly it reverses. But this came right at the 7 o'clock hour. Uh, it's a second entry short. Notice that new low. And you get a first entry and then a second entry right out of the EMA. Nice, perfect bearish signal bar. Hope is you get another leg down like this right here, but you don't. You actually correct here. And then you get another move down. And you actually got more in a measured leg here on this next one. Uh, there is a second entry short right here. Notice that new low, and you get a first entry, and then you're moving up, and you get a second entry. But you still got that little channel working up. You get a lower high here, but the signal bar is no good. And finally, you get a failure here right, right at the EMA. And there's actually a little hidden second entry in there. So I like going short right there. Quick scalp, and then it comes back. So no run or anything there. Uh, and then the, it drops on down. No setup right here, though. So, and, and you just don't want to enter way down here. Of course, we run on down, then we bounce here. And notice we're moving up, and you get a first entry. And there's a second entry right there. But again, this channel is still working up. And we are a long way away from the EMA, but this is what will happen to you. Get your clothes outside the channel, move to a new high, and then it turns lower. And that'll get you every time. So um, I don't know why I've got that arrow right there. But anyway, you're uh, you're moving down, and then you come back up under, and you get this lower high right here. Um, this is truly not a. The way I see this one is you got this high and you tried to go higher again there once and then again. It didn't break higher there, but technically it tried to go higher once, twice. And so I looked at that as a hidden second entry and a failure right there. I probably should have traded that one green. I think that's where that extra arrow came from. I think I meant to put a moved it and meant to put a green arrow and then never changed it. Otherwise, I don't know why I had that other red arrow there. Um, but it drops on down and again this this one's a little advanced but it's clearly two legs down and then you don't want to be entering down here this far away and of course you get the bounce and here you get a nice lower high on a second entry short and it's back at the trend line and you would expect hey maybe we're going to get another leg like this because a lot of times you'll get a close outside and two legs down it doesn't happen but you get enough to scalp out of that and um, and then you're just kind of working sideways here. You got some support here. But notice how we made that double bottom, and then we came back and tested it once, twice, and it failed. I like going long right there. That's a second entry long as well. Uh, it's close to the EMA. There's not really enough room right there. But you're looking for a possible reversal. When you, get, when you test something four times like that and can't go lower, probably going higher. The better trade is to wait on this reversal. And if you catch that, you're in this all the way, or as far as you want to ride, you want to ride it, and you don't get many strong pullbacks. So this would be an easy one, to, easy one to ride out. When you start seeing a trend like this, and you've got a runner, you might hang on until you get a close outside and something that breaks below that, and that would have kept you in this all the way to three o'clock. So I like this trade. It is a little aggressive. It's a little bit congestive too, but you can see the congestion's forming because the prices just can't go lower. The buying start to come in right here at this price level. And then that is the clue that something changed when it shoots right through the EMA with no you know, no uh, hesitation, pulls back, it holds, pulls back and tests it again and it holds, and then it takes off. And that's after your close outside and a strong move down to a new low. And then, of course, we're working up. And I don't see any setups in here until maybe right here. Um, this is at the midline. You, it's mostly sideways. But you can see we, we tested that once, twice, three times. Notice we made that low. We actually made a came back right here and made a low 
and we came we went higher and then came back and tested it again here went up came back and made that little failed break lower and so i like that one it's a little aggressive because we haven't been above that midline too much yet and you really want to see it above that but there's a triple test there so you may take that trade it's a little bit aggressive uh, i think it's only like six bars in that you know it's like a six bar signal bar so it's very low risk as well and you make a high or low here, but it's right into the highs. Just just be patient. And then, of course, you come back. Uh, there is a new swing low there. So first entry short, second entry short. It fails. That's a failed second entry. There's actually a hidden second entry long. It's at the, you got the trend line, the EMA, the, the horizontal support. You got three different support levels right there. I like taking that trade. And you probably catch a runner on that. And of course, that's a new low. It's a double bottom. So first entry, second entry. This is almost a repeat pattern of this. Just take that trade. Off you go again. And then, of course, you get a first entry and then a second entry. And clearly, we've been above the EMA a bit there. So this one's more doable. You do have to go long right into the highs. And it's not a perfect setup. So I did mark it green. But on a strong day like this, second entry long just take it and of course we come off the high side first entry second entry but you don't have a good enough signal bar here so i waited on the high or low and again it's not a perfect signal bar but that's real close on a strong day like this i'm gonna take that trade and it, that takes you into three o'clock so um there's not as many trades as you would think, but there's you only needed one or two, especially on this long side. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red or blue ones. That's plenty for a day. You only need a couple of them. And then a couple of these, there's a couple of greens thrown in here too. And there's probably a couple others that you might could argue to be green in there. But I think I covered most anything that would be worth risking. And um, so interesting day. Nice reversal day. Let's just, since we moved through that so quickly, let's look at the daily chart. Okay, here's our daily chart. And it looks like what we've got is a spike and maybe going into a channel here. And notice we moved up to our measured move. Uh, for the, Here's the original channel. And we moved up that measured move and it failed. And we turned back down. But it turns back up before reaching and testing this. And now we're way above it. So I would say you've clearly got a channel working higher here like so so to me it almost looks like a spiking channel and this could be a little wider but right now that's fitting pretty nicely and maybe even measure it from there maybe it's something more like that We'll leave it like that for now because that is where the low is right there. Let's just adjust it a tad. We'll leave it like that and see what we come up with. But that's kind of what I'm looking at right there for now. It looks like we're moving on from this congested area right here. So this does look like a spike and challenge. This could end up being a little wider before it's over. It could be something like that. It may be more like that or even like that. So, but right now that seems to be fitting rather well. So we'll stick with that and see what we get. Uh, the midline of this thing that was way down here. So we're way, we're getting back close to oversold territory here, but this market just keeps going. I mean, the last few times that's what we did. We spiked up, spiked up and went up, spiked up, and now we're going up again. This thing just keeps going through these spiking channels. It looks like, I, if I remember right, we've done that quite a bit here so maybe we're on the next spike up and if you looked at the measured move here just off the most recent swings there's one there so that gives us a target up here around 45 53 or so just get this very as accurate as we can here
and that looks pretty close. So that I would say that's probably going to be our next target. That's a fairly uh, impressive target there if we can make it. So, uh, but of course we're not. <laughs> The way this market's moving, we can move 100 points in a day easy So at times. So we, it slowed down here a little bit for the last parts of August. Uh, but it seems like we're on the move again. And that's generally when we start to move again, end of August, early September. So maybe we're getting out of these summer blues and things are going to pick up. But that's what I'm seeing now on the daily chart. And you've seen, or you've seen the intraday 2000 tick chart. So... Uh, I think we're probably headed higher. We'll just have to see. But I'm going to wrap it up for today. We'll be back again to do it tomorrow. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.